Good evening. This is Tina. How are you doing today? Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you to use first and last with the salt in aggregation framework in MongoDB because it doesn't make sense. Uh, we just using first and last alone. First means get the first document inside this uh, aggregation stage, right? And last means get the last document. Without a sort, the value returned after first and last is gonna be arbitrary. So it more makes sense, which is using first and last with the sort. Like if you want to get the uh, city in each state which has the highest population or you want to get the city in each state which has the least population okay and here I'm gonna give you an example I'm gonna use in compass because with the shell it's hard to type of very long you know the stage okay so here I have a document which is uh, called the students okay and here in the document we have uh, a student like uh, uh, a document like this okay have a id first name last name email and the gpa and the major so now if our requirement is uh, to find the student in each department which has the highest gpa what you gonna do? Let me repeat. I want to you give me the student in each department. Student information include first name, last name, email, GPA, major. In each department, which this student has the highest GPA, highest or lowest, doesn't matter. Okay, how would you do? Can you directly do uh, using a grouping by the computer science? Mm -hmm. You cannot because we want to have a highest or oh, uh, but uh, sorry, oh, sorry, I was interrupted by the email. Um, we cannot group first because we have to do sort because uh, when we group, we are directly pick the student information. So how to do that is yes, we, we are at a stage in the grouping, we were at a stage. First one, we will do a sort. Where's my sort? And sort by what? I will sort by GPA, okay? And sort by GPA, which is using this one. Uh, this one is a uh, uh, I think uh, yes, uh, ascending. Uh, this one is ascending. Let me using descending. Then I can using first, first, right? If you're using ascending, then you have to using last. So now this is uh, some examples which is ascending. Now I will do a group. Where's my group? And when we group, you will choose the group by what? We will group by the major, right? We are grouped by the major. So how to do the uh, major using major, okay? And then you will see what kind of fields you want. We only wa we want the first name, last name, email, GPA, right? But when we group, when we do a grouping, we have to do a accumulative operation. And in this case, we don't need to have a cumulative uh, operation. Instead, we are gonna just using the first or last. So here. We will do yes. We have to have contain the first name. This information, right? And how to grab information? We using the dollar sign first because we cannot accumulate this uh, first name. We just get the first name. Okay. Okay. And then we will do yes to uh, sorry last name. And we still get the first one. Let me put this one here. Okay, and then I have using last name, okay? And then I need to also have GPA, right? And here I will use in this one, also the first. And here I will give GPA, 
okay so now see here we first we group by each uh, department right and for each department we just grab the student we have which has the highest GPA see here computer science has this one sustainable living has one and uh, MBA has one okay and uh, actually uh, by now we already finish our uh, requirement but here I don't like this ID then what you can do is you can have a project and here you can change okay first name equals this one first name okay grab a first name last name is also project just the same thing and then we can have a GPA which is using the GPA and also last one yes I want to have a major here then its value is underscore ID why it's underscore ID? Because after this stage, after the second stage, this is the output. In the output, we only have the four uh, fields, ID, first name, last name, GPA. That's all the things can pass to this project stage. Uh, that's why here I'm using this ID. So major going to refer the value to this ID's field of value. So here you can see. Oh, then I have to do is ID equals zero. Because here still have ID, okay? ID equals the, uh, sorry, sorry. equals zero, which means don't display ID, kind of like a rename ID into a major. This is a projection, and uh, if you want, you can also uh, export. So port to this is no Java, I think. Hey, which one? Uh, this one, this part. This is the other things you have to put inside your MongoDB shell, which is the aggregate method. Like uh, this entire thing is uh, used to put inside your aggregate method. You you have uh, three stage. One is the sort stage, right? The other one is the grouping stage, and the last one is the project stage. Uh, that's it for this video and uh, thank you for watching uh, thank you thank you for watching and uh, see you next time bye bye